The Saudi-U.S. mega deal, which aimed to normalize relations between Saudi Arabia and Israel, has faced significant challenges and appears to be falling apart. The deal, which was seen as a major foreign policy priority for the Biden administration, was intended to bring together two of the most powerful countries in the Middle East and create a united front against Iran. However, the deal has been met with resistance from various quarters, including Congress, where many lawmakers have expressed concerns about the human rights record of Saudi Arabia and the potential implications of a defense treaty. The deal would have required the U.S. to provide security guarantees to Saudi Arabia, which has been seeking a NATO-style treaty, as well as advanced weapons and assistance for a civilian nuclear program. Despite the challenges, the Biden administration has been pushing ahead with the deal, seeing it as a way to reap big rewards in terms of regional security and countering China's influence in the Gulf. However, the deal's fate remains uncertain, with many obstacles still to be overcome. One of the main sticking points has been the demand by Saudi Arabia for significant concessions to the Palestinians, including the establishment of a sovereign independent Palestinian state. This has been a major point of contention, with Israel showing little willingness to grant such concessions. The deal has also been criticized for its potential to further entrench the U.S. in Middle East security dynamics, which many lawmakers see as a recipe for disaster. The U.S. has a long history of involvement in the region, and many are wary of getting pulled deeper into the complex web of alliances and rivalries. Despite these challenges, the Biden administration remains committed to the deal, seeing it as a way to achieve a major foreign policy victory and to counter China's growing influence in the region. However, the deal's fate remains uncertain, and it is unclear whether it will ultimately be successful. In the meantime, China has been making significant gains in the global shipbuilding industry, achieving dominance in a sector that was once dominated by the U.S. and Europe. This has significant implications for global trade and security, as China's growing naval power is seen as a major challenge to the U.S. and its allies. The fall of the Saudi-U.S. mega deal has significant implications for the Middle East and beyond. It highlights the challenges of negotiating complex diplomatic agreements, particularly in a region as volatile as the Middle East. It also underscores the growing influence of China, which is increasingly seen as a major player in global affairs. As the situation continues to evolve, it remains to be seen whether the deal will ultimately be successful or whether it will fall apart under the weight of its many challenges. One thing is certain, however, the implications of this deal will be felt far beyond the Middle East and will have significant consequences for global security and trade. The Saudi-U.S. mega deal was a significant diplomatic initiative aimed at normalizing relations between Saudi Arabia and the United States, with the potential inclusion of Israel in a trilateral agreement. The deal involved discussions around a defense pact, U.S. assistance for Saudi Arabia's civilian nuclear program, investments in Saudi Arabia's technology sector, and cooperation on various defense and security areas. The deal faced challenges and ultimately fell apart due to several key reasons. One major obstacle was Israel's stance on the deal. Israel's involvement was seen as crucial for the success of the agreement as it was tied to the establishment of diplomatic relations between Saudi Arabia and Israel. Without Israel's participation, the deal faced significant hurdles and ultimately could not move forward. The deal required ratification by two-thirds of the Senate, which posed a challenge given the political landscape in Congress. Lawmakers, especially Democrats, expressed concerns about the deal and were critical of Saudi Arabia's human rights record and its involvement in the conflict in Yemen. This lack of enthusiasm in Congress made it difficult to secure the necessary approval for the agreement. Saudi Arabia had specific demands for the deal, including a formal defense pact with the United States similar to existing alliances with countries like Japan and South Korea. Riyadh sought a robust security commitment from the U.S. to deter external aggression, particularly from Iran. The Kingdom also wanted guarantees that the U.S. would come to its aid in the event of an attack similar to the security commitments made to other U.S. allies. Another key factor in the deal's collapse was the requirement for a clear pathway to Palestinian statehood. Saudi Arabia insisted on a credible pathway to a Palestinian state and calm in Gaza as part of the agreement. 
The lack of progress on this front, along with the complexities of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, contributed to the deal's failure to materialize.